Good morning, everyone. Today we have a day off from charters, so we're gonna go out and we're gonna try some bottom fishing. I've been uh, selected as a special guest judge for a foodie competition here in Guam. It's called Champ Chows. So I believe it's gonna be the battle of the champions. All the guys that have won the previous challenges, I guess they're, they're going head to head. Figured, hey, if I could bless them with the fish that they could make uh, different style fish dishes, that'd be great. So I'm gonna head off today, try and catch that uh, elusive onaga, all right? That clean red snapper. Hopefully it'll be a short, fun trip, not too long out there, and hopefully the water's not too rough. See you guys out in the water. Guys, we just reached our destination. We're gonna go ahead and set up, get some deep drops in, and hopefully we can get that fish I was telling you about for the food challenge. All right, stay tuned. We'll see you again if we're hooked up. Woo! Look at what we got ourselves into here, boys. We finally got one on the line. Let's hope we can get it all the way to the boat, okay, guys? All right, we got one small one. Uh, not really the size we need, but they will take it. <laughs> Just hope we can hit a couple more like that. All right, we got another one on. Let's see. There it is, baby. The going gets rough, it's tough get going. Check this out, it's freezing here while I'm suited up. Woo, you can hear the wind howling. Okay, so the rain is not letting up. That weather is not worth sticking around trying to catch more. We got two, they're not really big, but hopefully it's enough for the for the function, right? We're gonna try and make our way back home slowly now. But like I said, it's some really crappy weather. All right, guys, it's 9.17 p.m., 9.18 now. Just on my way home, finally. Just finished cleaning the boat, uh, getting the other boat ready for charter tomorrow. Man, that was a tough day. That was a cold rainy windy rock and rolly day out there fishing uh, i sure hope everyone can appreciate what a fisherman actually goes through to get the fish you know like that we're gonna that we're providing especially for this this uh cook-off it's not as easy as people think like grocery shopping you can't just go out and pay some money and pick something up you know we don't just pay for gas we pay with our lives with our body our time either way I'm glad we made it happen I'm glad we got we got the fish that we needed um, yeah uh, it, it's uh, it's on shut up and fish to, to provide the fish for uh, for the event so I had a free day I took advantage of the time went out and I'm glad we, we we're able to, to get enough to make it happen, all right? So next time you'll see us on this, we'll be at the cook-off challenge, Champ Chow's, all right? Stay tuned, see you guys then. All right, 
right, guys, so we're here at Champ's Ranch. This is the outside kitchen. And uh, Shut Up and Fish got the, the catch of the day. The first time we're gonna use Captain Ken's fresh catch. As you can see earlier in the video, what I had to go through to get this fish. Hopefully these guys make something awesome with it and make it all worth the while. Onaga for the win. All right, you're ready? Yeah? What we do here is go back, 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 back.
All right, guys, it's going down here. Champ Chow's uh, Champ versus Champ throwdown. I think it's Tino versus uh, Lurky Lurk. And they're getting down in the Onaga that we just caught yesterday, so. Go ahead, go ahead and show them what you guys are Ocean to table, baby. You know what time it is. For eating, but it's only for picture. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Only for Instagram. <laughs> only Instagram. Instagram. Only an Instagram. Be going already, bro. <laughs> There's no wasabi. There's no wasabi. Let, let me get a light. Oh, wow. Nice. That's a legendary. Oh, that's yeah. the one.
Okay. We're doing it all over again. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> all right, ready? Three, two, one, action. All right, so you guys know the rules. I can't do this by myself, so right now I got to my right. I got my boy, Ken. You guys know him, and that's what time it is. You already know. So my homeboy, Ken, showed up the fish, went out to Rhoda to grab this fish. Oh, you gotta tell them where I was, bro. But, oh, not but, everyone knows <laughs> But here's the deal. He went down to Rhoda, don't you fucking call this fucking tracks. Say the fuck in your own name. There you go. My boy went over there and fucking thunder, lightning storm came back with some two big bad boys. And to my left right here, the guy at the CEO, the manager of ISC Fitness Center, uh, that we might possibly do something in the future, my boy JD Riarty. So what we were gonna cook, or we kinda had an idea because I wasn't thinking sort of fish was gonna be a cow. So I, I assumed it was gonna be fish, but we just didn't know what it was, so uh we're fortunate enough to have a naga on our island and and it's a very rare fish because like, it's mostly sold to the hotels and here it is i i, I went ahead and did a seared uh naga with a with a coconut uh nancy sauce a little bit of a snack um, uh, right here with the green onion and then a naga poke with the og butter soy sauce rice for pork coffee so I mean, paired with uh, right. yeah, coconut right. candy easy activity from Guam Brew. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy, man. I see you next. Next, fuck yeah. Let's go. Try it. Try it. Always a pleasure, my friend. Right. 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 I'm honest with all this. Alright, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. This pokey was surprisingly really good. It, it might be kind of bland for others, but I like my food like that. And that being said, this has way too much sauce on it. That sauce is good though, but it, it's just too much for me. Um, I personally like pokey crabs with something crunchy. Like if you eat it with on the side, not really a rice guy, so that didn't get me there. The just about thing was pretty good. The skin was a little undercooked though. I mean, they're timed and all, so maybe that was a thing. But from a guy like Lurk, and I hit him up on IG about this, I was expecting some Lao Lao. Where's that fish, Lao Lao Lurk? You know what time it is? Uh, break out that Lao Lao dog. Five out of five, you know what I mean? Expectations. But it was great. Nonetheless, it was great. The taste was, the taste was over here. You know, it was, yeah. it was a five, yeah. for sure. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. All right. Uh, how fresh it was, and you know, all the stuff to go into bringing it to the place, right? So, like I said, I, I didn't want it to highlight the uh, the simplicity and the uh, the beauty of this of this animal. So is that it, Mr. Sharon? Is there anything else we need to know about your presentation here? I think it speaks for itself, so enjoy it. Oh, shit! But it was still Japanese. This is a one more thing. 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 Like I said, I didn't want to. I kind of know how Kenny is. I know how to work this now. <laughs>
All right, check it. Fish come. This honestly looks really good. This is like a cheesecake factory kind of deal here. I like it. That's how you know that fish was good. He's gonna lick the plate. Welcome to Champ Chow's, and we're about to announce the first champ of the Champ 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 Champions. Um, by three points, oh, wow. moving on That's close. to the Champ Chow's Champion Rounds. Fuck, man, I'm kind of pissed off about this. Okay. He's from Daddy, though. Oh. <laughs> he don't eat streets. Hey, can you give him a brief, a brief explanation? Me or him? Why you, why you think, why you think? Okay. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> <laughs> wait until he has the trophy, then we count. Two. Well, like, I know, I mean, it had to be the presentation, okay? One, we could knock out the texture because already we know we have no Naga. But the taste in the presentation was amazing. As you said, it was like a cheesecake factory fill. You had the whole $40 plate going on. But I, you know what I mean? But I thought like Lurk did a lot more. I, I really enjoyed Lurk's home plate, his presentation. His story was kind of still, maybe he was a little bit drunk. But it, he, had, he had three things. He had a shish kebab. He had he had a, a little filet that had like a like a foreign filet with the with, with some uh, spicy creamy Delancey sauce, and then he had a fucking poke. So like that right there, he couldn't beat it. But you know, walk props to Tino. Um, I mean, he's proven already. He's a he's a double champ, and uh, we'll see him in the final. Boom. Awesome. Okay. So this was our first time here at Champ Chow's. Yeah, Invited by the champ himself. Uh, you guys saw the video. You saw what we had to do to get that fish here for these guys to enjoy. I hope everyone here enjoyed and appreciated it. And uh, we'll let Melker tell you what this event's all about. All right, guys. Well, welcome to Champ Chow's. Um, so just this thing we like to do. I like to... Uh, I'm an instigator and a troublemaker. I like to make people fight and whatever. But I can't do that in the pandemic time. So... I found some guys that wanted to cook and battle with each other and with our production crew it made everything really easy. Um, it's kind of grown and gained some uh, traction with you know the Middle East and the locals that, that are not following us on Instagram. And uh, we're very freestyle, we're very ghetto, but we love it. The guys come with a five star meal set up in a whole little ranch style so I'm, I'm loving it. It, it it roots me grounds me and and especially the guys that are behind all of this and, and like people like shut up and fish that's coming by and getting me some amazing fish um man brother honestly i love you and i thank you and bless you and and looking forward to many more times coming here please come to my ranch i love you guys shut up and fish you know what time it is let's go